first and foremost, all the honors, all the praises, all the glory belongs to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Mohava, Kaakwadash, the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Son's name is Yahweh Shai, and who I reverence. Honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit and to the hopeful elect across the globe and to the few, very few sincere brothers and sisters that are listening and learning. Okay? It's going to be straight to the point. Bro, there's a whole nother level to this spiritual aspect, this spiritual war. Right? Let's go to 1 Peter 5. Right? Jump straight to verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because you're adversary. Right? So key thing, key word, sober and vigilant. Does this mean we can't have a little drink now and then? No, we can. Soberly minded. You're observing. So if you're vigilant, what are you vigilant of? You're, you're vigilant of your surroundings, right? So we're vigilant, right? Because guess what? Check this out. Because your adversary, the devil, and the greatest trick that, the, what's that saying? The greatest trick that the devil did use that he doesn't exist. Most people think, oh, you're the devil, that's just a fairy tale. No, he exists. Because you see him on people's vessels doing dumb shit. Right? Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, right? Roars to, to scare his prey. Walketh about, seek him whom he may devour. Key thing, it says, walketh about. So he's using people's vessels. I say this time and time and time again. Like that movie, The Fallen. Jumping on people's vessels. More so people that don't believe there's any God or devil. They're more susceptible. And they're the ones that are being used. The same people say, I don't believe in no devil or Satan. They're the same people that are Satan and the devil. Right? So we have to be circumspect and vigilant. Okay? Who is a steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplishing your brethren that are in the world. Now let's jump, jump straight to verse Luke. Right? This is real. This is real. This is real stuff. Before we go to Luke. Before we go to Luke, let's go to Psalm 52. Why boast is thyself in mischief? So why are you still being mischievous? And you're boasting. Almighty man, the goodness of the most high endureth continually. Thy tongue deviseth mischief like a sharp razor, working deceitfully. So that's what they're doing. They're boasting themselves in mischief. Okay? This is what they're doing. And when you go into that word mischief, it goes harm, done intentionally, childish pranks. So this is what they're doing. Alright? Because what they're being used, they're weak vessels that Satan is using, manipulating. Right, so when you see these things, you can't take it too seriously. You just laugh at it. Well, this person's being used. Their vessels being used. They're weak minded, but that's what happens when you don't. This this is what happens when you don't have any discipline over your flesh. You get used by the spiritual demon Satan. Okay, like a sharp razor working deceitfully. That love is evil more than good, and lying rather to speak righteousness. That love all devouring words or deceitful tongue. So these are deceitful vessels that are being used. Okay. Luke 22 and 31. They're not used to you. See, to Yahweh Shai, they're not useful to Yahweh Shai. They're useless to Yahweh Shai. They're of no good. Right? Because they're weak vessels. Right? Mentally, these people are weak minded. Luke 22 and 31. Check this out. And the Lord Shai said unto Simon, Simon, behold, Satan had desired to, to, to have you. Simon was known as Peter, the head apostle of the church. He desired to have you, Peter. But that's what Satan, Satan wanted Peter, basically. All right? He tried to get him out. Because they know if they could take their heads, because Peter was the head of the church. Satan have desired to have you that he may shift you as wheat. Go into that wheat. When you shift wheat, you're separating it. You put it in a shiv. So that's what he's looking to do. He's looking to separate us from our power. Right? 
and stop. Look, continue pushing this word. People are going to be used to try and shift you. Shift means to separate. You're shifting some corn. What gets left was supposed to get left, right? The residue, that's what gets left. So Satan's desire to what to have Peter. Right, so this shows you even the dark side is seeking for the elect as well. Okay. But he may shift you as wheat. Verse 32, but I have prayed for thee. Yahweh shall have prayed for Peter and for the elect that their faith fell not. And when I converted, strengthen our brethren. So when we become strong, we have to com convert the brothers. Make sure they're strong in the faith. Right. There's a whole nother level of spiritual warfare, I realize. You may think, all right, you may say this, well, hold on. Visit your auntie or who else? Just an example, your friend uh, may have some comfort here. Yeah, everything's going to be all right. Then you realize, hold on a minute, that same spirit of the devil's in them. Because what's that showing you? What's, what is that? What's that showing you? That's the devil saying, look, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, we've got him too. Yeah, we got we 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 got your auntie, right? Yeah, we've got we've we've got your we've got your mother, right? Because if you look, if anybody who's not in this truth, they're a potential agent of Satan. So if Satan can do that, spirit jump from one vessel to another. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to my cousins, and he starts acting all erratically, right? Because that them spirits know who you are. Go to 2 Timothy 2 and 26. Come on. And a lot of the times, we're going to go to that, excuse me, just a minute, go to Isaiah. A lot of the times it's because they made a pact or they're not put off sin. So if these people have not put off sin, then it's going to be seen in the spiritual realm and it's going to be seen in the physical. Okay. Isaiah 28. And 58, because you have said we have made a covenant with death. So a lot of the people you knew, a lot of the people you grew up with, whether you may or not knew, but now you know, some of them made a covenant with death. Because most people in this society, they're part of some fraternity or brotherhood. Okay. Or they're just still stuck in sin, which make which makes you in alignment with death. Right? Because what does sin bring forth? Death. And with hell we are to agreement, when the overflowing scorch shall pass through it, shall not come unto us, for we have made lies of our refuge, and under falsehood have we hid ourselves. And this is what the condition of the battle. This is condition of the battle. Okay? Go to Timothy's. 2 Timothy 2 and 26. Come on now. Let's go. Do you really think, look, this is this way you gotta understand. Alright, you got a woman, right? She may not be in the truth. And it's not to say brothers that are in the truth that your family ain't gonna make it, because some of you, your family's gonna make it as well, just by you. But what I'm trying to say is those that are not in the truth, they're part of the world. Satan has them. How do we know this? Go to 2 Timothy 2 and 25 in meekness instructing those that oppose themselves because you're going to have those that oppose themselves what does it mean to oppose to withstand that's what satan's whole job is if the most high pre-adventure he will give them repentance to the acknowledging of the truth that's what we're here to do right and they that may recover themselves out of the snare check this out this way you got to pay attention and they that may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil. That's a trap. So most of our people, they're in the snare of the devil. They're in the hands of the devil. Right? Heaven is you're chilling with your woman. And she, start, she starts to um, act up. That's them spirits. And that spirit that's within her, the devil, go let you know, yep, yeah, I've got your woman. Because it says, out of the snare of the devil, who are taking captive. Pay attention to the words. Who are taken captive by him at his will. So most of our people, they're captive to the devil. Why? 
We can go to that Romans. We're gonna shut off soon. It's all making sense. See, there's many. When you go over these scriptures, scriptures again and again, you get a new level of understanding. This is why this happens. This is why they're captive of the devil. Romans eight. Check this out. Right. Go straight to verse. Uh, get straight to the point. Right. It says, "For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh." For they that have the spirit, the things of the spirit, right? For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. So, those that are after the things of the flesh, what's, what's going to happen? Satan's going to use that and take them captive. But those are the things, those that are chasing after the things of the, the spirit, guess what? The devil's still going to, what, hound you, but he's not going to have um, full control over your vessel. That's the difference. Okay, because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the Lord, even it of the Most High, and if it indeed can be. So then they that are in the flesh cannot please the Most High, you see? So this is why it's so important, it's a battle between you and your flesh. Who's going to win today? Hmm? And you measure out your day like that, well, what was I doing more? Was I serving the flesh more, or was I serving the spirit more? And that's it right so look put a put on them put on that spiritual armor right for the devil is what seeking whom he may devour right so with this i hope this was edifying and until the next time shalom